And because he was embarrassing the authorities, that's why they came down. I think I need to research on this guy a bit more. Cause Please do. I, I will do now. Now that you've said it, I will do. Hey, turn in one for Tommy. Yeah. A uh, couple of little girls from uh, England. The one that starts out, I would have liked to talk to her a little bit more, but she didn't want to stick around. So she worked for the Defense Department there as an advisor. I have no idea what a little girl like her could possibly be defend, you know, giving advice to, for the defense of England for. If she's giving defense for England, then no wonder they're being going to the hell. Uh, <laughs> the Muslims are running over them. Uh, and then the second woman uh, from England, uh, nice. She's, I mean, she, at least she listened. She didn't have uh, any. And because she listened, I think I turned her. So, you know what you do. If you like it, you like it. If you care, you share. And if you can, you can contribute. And remember to keep the fight up and to pray for me out there because I'm praying for you. And um, let's pray for Tommy and I hope he gets out soon. So I'll see you on the flip side. Stop. And what do you do there? Uh, I work for the government. In what capacity? Uh, I just am an advisor. Of? Defense stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. Indeed. Yeah. And what, uh, yeah. I guess you can't, there's a lot of things you can't talk about there. Yeah. Okay. If I were to mention the name Tommy Robinson, what kind yeah. of reaction would I get? He's an interesting guy. We'll give him that. Indeed. <laughs> It's an interesting answer, but uh, I mean, you don't seem to be of too much approval, or? Nah. No. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, I'm going to go find my friend. Nice to meet you. Okay. What part of England are you from? I'm from Southampton, near London. So if I, if I, if I mentioned this man's name, what would you say? Uh, I think he's a dick. He's a what? He's a dick. How's he dick? He, I don't, no, uh, no one likes him in the UK. No one likes him in the UK? It's no. funny, I have a lot of people that like him in the UK. I run into many, 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 many people from around the world that actually like him. Do you like him? I think he is fantastic. Really? Yeah, I think that he speaks truth to power, and anybody that does that ought to be stood up and just, you know, admired. When you put it that way, yeah. Did you see uh, a few months ago when someone threw a milkshake over him when he was walking out around? Well, town? that's it. Why, why do that? I mean, you listen, yeah. let the guy talk. Yeah. Listen to him. And what he has to say, I mean, what's he saying? He's saying that, you know, his country is being changed irreparably mm -hmm. by the influx of people that don't want to assimilate. I got you. And so he's trying to save his country. And you know how it all started out. I mean, he had this Muslim group rape ring next to his store. Yeah. And he kept on trying to tell the police about it. The police are going, ah, shut up, shut up, Tommy, shut up. So he got pissed and he went out on the street and started to become a journalist, you know, citizen journalist. Yeah. So because he embarrassed the authorities, they started coming down on him. Shit, I didn't know this. Yes. I didn't know this. So that's how, so they started vilifying him. Oh, you're, you know, they, you're a racist, you're this, this, that. They said, no, well, I'm just trying to make you guys do your job. I got you. These people are out here taking children off the street and turning, uh, making prostitutes out of them. I got you. I'm trying to make you aware of this so you can stop it. Yep. And because he was embarrassing the authorities, that's why they came down. I think I need to research on this guy a bit more. Cause Please do. I, I will do now. Now that you've said it, I will do. Please do. I think you'll. I think the more you find out about him, listen to listen to him. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to what the people say about him. Listen, listen to, what he to says. him. Okay. And then make up your own mind. I will do. I definitely will, sir. Can I ask you another favour? I'll be happy. Can I put one? In, does that say "Make America Great Again"? Can I put one on and have a picture of you? Sure. Let's go to the other side. I'll show yeah. you the, what we got over there. Yeah. Okay, can I, how do I get this hat off? Oh, sure, you want to wear that? I want to wear it with you and then show all my British friends they're going to be like, dude, that's the best thing. <laughs> <laughs>
I got your card. Do you sell these as t-shirts? Yeah, you can get a lot of my designs on apparel. I really like them. I, Thank I'm you. I'm not a Trump supporter, but I, I'm not for what's going on in the From this side. Yeah, well, not all of these have to do with Trump either. You know, I'm going to take you to Mar-a-Lago when we get home. Oh, cool. Make sure we can see that Awesome, dude. Thank yeah. you so much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've been having fun here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been enjoyable. That's the best picture I've ever seen in my life. Thank yeah. you so much, sir. Oh, you're very I'll welcome. definitely read up on Tommy, Tommy Robinson. Please do. All right. Do. God bless you. That was a good one, huh? I think that, I think that little girl's going to go out there and maybe uh, get her mind changed. And uh, she'll probably lose a few friends along the way, but <clears throat> she's going to gain some better ones. So again, if you like it, you like it. If you care, you share and uh, hit that, you know, all the good buttons and go get one of my shirts. And Okay, spread the message. Get a Tommy shirt. God bless you. See you on the streets.